Tiny houses are very popular these days. If you've been watching TV like I have, then you've probably seen them. But I've never actually been inside one until today. Hey Jerry, what's up? How you doing? Wow, it's so hot outside. Oh, it yeah. feels great in That's here. Wow, so this is it, huh? This is the tiny house. Wow, I didn't realize it was going to be a designer <clears throat> tiny house, but this looks very nice. Why did you decide to build this thing? Well, I really wanted to learn how to build a house, and this was a smaller form factor, and what's much more affordable to learn how to build. When you say affordable, what does that mean? Well, uh, building one of these, including materials and labor, I think you're going to be looking around, you know, 35 to 45, depending on who's doing the work. In this case, I did the work, and that brings costs down. Is this just a fad, or do you think that this could be the future of how people live? Um, I mean, this is an acquired taste. It's not for everyone. Uh, two people can live here comfortably if you really like each other, you know. And maybe a third person if they're busy, but they can't what? stay that long. Three people? Sure, why not? They can stay here on the couch. How about two people and a cat? Two people and a cat? I can do that. Now, you had to get creative with this space. Everything. So is everything multi-purpose? Yeah, everything's multi-purpose here. Um, uh, what we have here, this is a mapping table. That's something that folds up and we use that as a desk or where you can eat. What about the kitchen and the rest of the living space? We use a propane stove and burners. We have a washer and dryer unit. That's very rare. A combo. Yeah. And I'm surprised by how much counter space is in here because this counter space is comparable to what a lot of people would find in a regularly sized True. home or apartment. Yeah. A lot of the utilities that run the, the, run the house are underneath here. You have your hot water heater, your, your, your water storage tank, and your washer dryer. Washer dryer combo. Wow, everything just packed into one small space. And here's the bathroom. Here it is. Here's the shower here. You have everything you need. Everything you need. Towel, toilet, 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 little, little sink. sink, mirror, and another window. And another window. Yeah. Well, I can't believe you did this all yourself. I'm yeah, very impressed. Not bad. Yeah, it looks really good. So when it's bedtime, climbing up the ladder. Climbing up the ladder. Actually, it's easier if you move this ladder over to the left. You can slide it over. Oh, cool. And you climb up because coming up this way, you're gonna hit your head. Oh, it would be kind of fun to climb up a ladder every night when you come to bed, don't you think? Yeah. Let's see, Jerry, can you get up here next to me? There you have it. Wow. That's the space. So it's almost a little bit like camping. Then, yeah, it huh? is like a little camping. It's like a little cubby up here. That would be really fun. Now, what kind of person would live in a tiny house? Well, you know, since we've been renting this out, uh, a lot of people who uh, rented are business professionals, medical professionals, since we're here in the medical center. Um, a lot of co college graduates come here and stay here. So people stay for two nights, a week, even uh, two months. Wow, and how, now you lived here for two months. Yeah, I did try it out for two months to make sure I got the experience right. How did the two months go? It was an experience, but you end up letting go of a lot of the creature comforts that you normally would want, like bigger closets. You end up kind of selecting only the clothes that you really, really need. And um, you kind of make the most of the space. Jerry, this is really interesting. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Can I grab a blanket? Because I think I may just uh, make a bed right yeah. there. Where's your cat? Oh, I'm allergic. Oh. <laughs> go ahead, take it's it. It's like my worst nightmare, waking up and having a cat on my face. Oh. Don't worry, I'll bring the cat. <laughs> Okay, that bathroom looks so tidy. I'm just gonna say it. Derek, it looks like that you could poop and brush your teeth at the same time. That is so gross. It is baby. gross, but it was that so tidy. That is so gross. You know, the entire place there was between 100, 130 square feet, Jerry estimated, and it was cramped. I don't know, every day, maybe not, but for a fun little weekend getaway, I think it could be cool. Great for one or two people. We'll see. I, I, years from now, flash forward, we're both like living in the woods in tiny totally. houses. Totally. Or next week. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, Jerry, uh, the owner, is a really talented guy. Um, he's part of a woodworking group. It's called Admired. Oh, and cool. uh, from what he said, he plans to build more tiny houses in the future. So I guess we'll see.